It started as a coffee run to an Olivet Starbucks, but ended in tragedy when a car came barreling into the store. That crash killed a woman inside, and now police are trying to piece together exactly what happened. Our Justina Cornell is live outside where this all did happen. Justina. Yeah, Mike, if you take a look behind me here, you can see the Starbucks on Olive Boulevard is all boarded up. And if you take a look on the ground, you can see the flowers that are out here for Glenda Simmons. I would see her every day. Larry McCall has worked next door to the Olivet Starbucks for several years. As a regular, he'd also see Glenda Simmons. But Saturday morning, the usual coffee run turned into a tragedy. Just a blink of an eye. I mean, I was next door and I mean the noise and just to see something like that, just the image, I can never get it out of my head. This is what he saw, an SUV inside the Starbucks. Family attorney Richard Zalaski says Glenda was getting breakfast with her husband, Joseph, when she wanted a latte. Glenda went inside the Starbucks as Joseph waited outside. Moments later, he watched the SUV slam into the store. And as he rushed inside, Joseph saw his wife on the floor bleeding from her head. Glenda was rushed to the hospital where she later died as a result of her injuries. Days later, flowers are placed where the crash happened. Glenda's friend, Herman Alums, can't believe she's gone. It's very unusual. How much speed can one get from there to here? We've learned Glenda was a retired elementary school teacher in the university school district. Very nice person. But Glenda's teaching went beyond the classroom. McCall has learned that even though he didn't know her that well, that someone can still leave an imprint on your heart. She was just a very sweet lady. I mean, brighten up the room when she walked in, always smiling. She's one of those people, if she's in a bad mood, you would know, you know what I mean? She was just a sweet lady. And now he hopes to continue spreading that kindness to her family. And my heart goes out to her, anyone that knew her, her family, friends, I mean, she touched everybody in a special way. As of right now, there are no charges filed against the 78 year old male driver. Police tell me that this investigation is active and ongoing. Justina Cornell, five on your side.